Hey y'all, it's me, Laura Burns. Welcome back to my channel. If you are here for the first time, jazz hands. Okay, so I am actually filming the intro to this video after I do my inside the dressing room because shocker, I forgot to do it. Um, it was raining and it just slipped my mind because I was focused on the rain and the weather and blah, blah, blah. So, I'm here, it is actually uh, the day after I did my Inside the Dressing Room try on, and I just wanted to introduce this video and talk about um, what I was looking for, and yeah, but I don't wanna spoil anything, and then I'll come back afterwards and say a couple things. So, but just to start with, I wanted to investigate the Wild Fable situation a little deeper. So you may have seen that I recently purchased a few pieces from Wild Fable, both in the store and from the Target website. And I love them. <laughs> I mean, they're really good. <laughs> so I thought, let me go see what do they have in store? Like, what is, you know, do they have all the sizes? Do they have all the styles? And um, I was a little disappointed in the selection. However, we are in a weird in between time where the stuff from the summer like is still kind of there but also they're starting to bring in fall things so I think if I wait a few weeks maybe um, the summer stuff it's like on clearance now the wild fable section is really small to start with so I think um, they just need a little time to clear everything out so they can bring in more of the fall winter things so I will go back maybe in November and see how it is right now it's um, kind of just halfway through October and at least here in Houston we just um, yesterday got our first cold front so um, I think maybe you know this probably wasn't the best time to go and check it out um, but I did and you're about to see the things that I found now let me just say it's not all Wild Fable because there just wasn't that much Wild Fable stuff there. So I did just pull whatever from the plus size section. So you're gonna see um, a few different brands in the try-on and um, I'll talk about them at the end after you watch the try-on. All right, BRB. Here I am in the dressing room looking cute in my new Torrid denim jacket. And the dress is Leota from Adia Box, in case, because somebody's going to ask me. I'm just showing you the clothes behind me. I'm clearly very excited. It is the first jacket. It's from Wild Fable. <clears throat> Isn't it so cute? Checkers. Oh, my God. And it was on clearance. I love it. I love it so much. It's so cute. It blends in with my dress. Um, unfortunately, it was too big for me. I like my jackets to fit smaller. Look, I'm showing you how much it overlaps. So I definitely could have gone down to probably even a 2X in this jacket. And more Wild Fable. This is a super cute, super soft 4X cropped pullover style hoodie. And look at it. Look at it. It's so cute. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, not anything crazy, but it's just very cute. I love this crop style. I don't usually love pullover, but I was pretty into this. Next up is a jacket from Universal Thread. 4x and this one is in corduroy which was fun i've never had a corduroy jacket before so i wanted to try it on and see how it fit and i think it looked really cute it was a nice like longer length jacket which i don't normally love and probably means that i wouldn't buy it but it was cute just you can see on me the proportion is not great um but it was very roomy i had full range of motion in my arms which y'all know is very important Ooh, this one. Next up, from A New Day, in a size 4X, it's a leopard print sweater. How much more leopard print do I need in my life? Question <laughs> mark. Um, apparently the answer is more. I always, like, if I see leopard print, I have to try it on. So this was stretchy, but not super stretchy. Very soft. I think it is a really nice fit for my body. It was not too tight. It wasn't too big. Um, I was really into this, but it's definitely true to size and not overly generous. Next up, Wild Fable. So this is a size 4X and it is a little mock neck t-shirt. Pretty simple, but I loved it on. It's soft, it's very stretchy. Uh, in fact, I think that the sizing here is very generous. So certainly, if you are larger than a 4X, you could get into this shirt and uh, be totally comfortable. 
Next up, another universal thread item. This is a beautiful yellow, y'all know how I love the yellow, <laughs> plaid flannel shirt, perfect for fall. And look, I'm pointing to my belly because it actually buttons and is not skin tight. If you have trouble with button downs, you understand what I'm talking about. This was very exciting to me. <laughs> I kept going, oh my God, it fits. <laughs> Wild Fable, this was on clearance, yes. Always fun to find something cute on clearance. So this is a nice non-stretch polka dot crop top off the shoulder situation. It did have some ruching or smocking in the back, that's what it is, smocking. So it did have some give when I sat down, the smocking went into action and made the shirt continue to fit, which is a really nice feature that I appreciated. And last, I only pulled one dress for this because there were too many dresses and I got overwhelmed. But this is from Ava and Viv. It is a little sweater. It's like really thin, fine knit sweater um, with a knot detailing under the bust. It's very soft. Um, I like it because it's nice and stretchy, so it's gonna be comfortable. Um, the arms are little baby bell sleeves, which is such a cute arm. I love that. Here you can see a close-up of the color. It was kind of a burgundy and a lighter color um, heathered together. It was so pretty. I like this dress a lot. Very nice. Okay, so that was the try-on video. You got to see all the things that I pulled. Obviously the plus size section has a lot more clothes than that, but to be honest, there's a certain number of clothes that I'm willing to try on at a time, and that's kind of it. <laughs> Um, I have to say, I was pretty pleased with the selection that I found. Um, I think the Target really has been working on their plus size offerings and bringing in a few different brands. So, you know, Ava and Viv came a few years ago. They've got the Universal Thread brand now, which I really like. Um, Wild Fable is really good. And then they have their, I think it's a house brand, A New Day. Um, that's what that leopard print sweater was. So, question did I buy anything? And the answer is yes. <laughs> I did. I bought um, the leopard print sweater because if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm a little leopard obsessed right now and it's just really speaking to my 90s leopard print obsession. It's kind of just coming back. When I was in high school, I had um, this really cute leopard print furry purse that was a child's purse. I got it at FAO Schwartz when they used to have a location here in Houston. And it was the greatest. I used it through college, like, okay. <laughs> and then I had this leopard print um, skirt from the catalog Girlfriends LA. Does anyone remember Girlfriends LA? Please comment below if you remember that catalog. It was like Delia's but for fat girls and they actually had like pretty inclusive sizing for the time. I think they may have, they definitely had a 3X, they may have had a 4X. And this is back in the 90s when like stuff like that didn't exist. And it was young, it was trendy, it was just like Delia's, but like in a size that I could actually wear, um, kind of before Delia's offered larger sizes. Um, oh my God, I just remember that Delia's had a store at the Galleria, that's crazy. I think by the time they had a store at the mall, I was like kind of too old for that and I was over it. <laughs> but, oh my God, girlfriend's hell. So many leopard print things were purchased through that catalog, through the mail, y'all. <laughs> okay, um, so I kept the leopard print sweater because I loved it. It felt great on, it was a good size, it was a good fit, it was nice and soft, like it felt like reasonable quality. Um, and that was from the brand A New Day. And then I kept the little mock neck uh, three quarter length uh, shirt from Wild Fable, but I did go back and purchase a 3X, not the 4X, because I thought it was a little roomy for how I wanted that shirt to fit, which is good news if you're larger than me, you could get into that shirt. Um, it definitely had room in there and it is very stretchy. So obviously it'll get shorter. I think if you're larger than me and you bought that, like if you're a 5X on top and you bought it, it would probably be a crop top, but like that's a cute look. So you should do that. <laughs> um, Okay, thoughts. Number one, I can't wait to see uh, when they fully switch out the Wild Fable collection for fall winter. 
Um, they had, you know, like the hoodies and, and stuff like that, but they didn't have the black zip. They only had the light blue zip. Like it's very small. <laughs> so I want to see more things from them. Um, I want to see like some cropped sweaters. Oh, that would be so cute. Um, they did not have the yellow plaid outfit anymore. I really want to try it on, but they did have a purple one, but I just wasn't that into it. It wasn't, um, speaking to me probably just because it's not the yellow one from Clueless, which is what I really wanted to put on. <laughs> um, but that was there and I did not try it on just because I wasn't feeling it in the moment. Maybe I'll go back and do it again later. Um, I loved that black and white checkered jacket. It was just too big, which is great if you're bigger than me. Know that the 4X uh, in that jacket, if it's very generously. Um, oh my gosh, if they would have had that in a smaller size, I would have bought it. I loved it. Um, I was like, how can I make this fit better? And I was like, no, Laura, just don't get it. You don't need this that bad. Um, yeah, I think that I'll do another video with just trying on stuff from the dress section because there's like this whole wall of dresses. Like there's so many dresses and I looked at it and I got overwhelmed. So I grabbed the one from Ava and Viv um, and I liked it. It was nice and, you know, a light sweater knit. Um, but yeah, so all in all, I would have to say good trip. I enjoyed it. I liked the pieces that I tried on. Like I liked most of them. Um... I don't need them or have the money to purchase all that stuff, so I obviously didn't. Um, but it really bodes well for the future of the plus size section in Target, especially with that um, yellow flannel button down that actually buttoned around me and wasn't skin tight. Now it's still, you know, when I sat down would have been too small, but hey, it's a start. <laughs> it, it is a start. And um, just a recommendation, and I did tell someone this in the comments earlier um, this month, uh, this month, it was like three days ago, <laughs> that uh, if you are like me and you're smaller on top, bigger on bottom, and you have a hard time with button ups and you're looking for like a plaid fall looking shirt, Torrid does have a shirt that's like the peplum camp shirt or something like that. And it's a normal, you know, plaid collared button down. And then it flares out around the natural waist in a peplum. It doesn't look like a flouncy peplum. It's really just like a pronounced A-line. So it fits so well and it really solves my issues because um I, it fits around me i can sit down and it's not skin tight or buttons popping off it's great it's very cute i'm very happy i can't wait to wear it with jeans and now that the weather has turned i actually can i'm so happy um so yeah what did you like from this uh, inside the dressing room. Is there anything you're like really hoping they get in or that you wanna see from Wild Fable? I'm like a little obsessed with this brand now. <laughs> I liked it. When I went back this time, they had one of those uh, lavender leopard print fuzzy sweaters left, only one. I'm like, yes. I'm like so happy that people are buying like the weird stuff because it means they'll make more weird stuff. <laughs> so, okay. Um, I hope that you like this. Uh, tell me what you liked. Tell me what you want to see from Wild Fable. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff from me. If you like um, getting to watch my videos in your subscription feed and uh, not having to search for them or remember that I exist. I'm always here. Okay. Um, have a great day. I'm sending you lots of love and good vibes and I will see you next time. Bye.